These are my good friends, Dominic and Dana. And together, we're gonna ride bikes around Western Cuba. Dom got a little sick last night. What happened, bud? I don't know what I ate. Maybe it was gluttony when we ate two pizzas or just bad luck, but the world fell out of both ends, really. And it feels <laughs> like it continues to want to do so. How'd you, how'd you sleep? Um, uh, It was a long night, but I'm super grateful because I didn't have things falling out from both ends all night. <laughs> <laughs> Explain the sounds. Oh, I love the sounds. You can really not sleep to them. But at night, the first thing that happens is like the dog choir. There were so many dogs. And then in the middle of the night, there were some roosters that had lost their mind. And the roosters started crowing, but it was still totally dark. Well, team, luckily we only have to go 25 kilometers today. I don't know if he's going to make it. I'm going to do that on Dana's bike. Yeah. Dana, I'm going to drain myself over the back of her bike. And... Oh, look at that sunshine on you. I know, but look at my hair. Can you get that? Your hair looks like mine. It's so good. Today, I'm going to wear one of Dom's long sleeve shirts because I, as you can see, torched my arm. I was wearing sunscreen. I don't know what happened. Oh, God. I haven't felt this sick for a very long time. It's nice being with people, though. Last time I was on my own, and even if you're not that sick, being with people is... Comforting. Nice. I'm trying to rev myself up and swing slowly into action. I like it. Our host family, they're waiting out for us like it's our first day of school, helping us get all packed up and ready to go. Gracias por todo, amigos. Gracias. We are leaving toward Viñales, and our host is kind enough to be riding out of town with us to make sure we go the right way, which is very kind of him. I said kind twice, that must mean he's really kind. <laughs> I love Cuban cities in the morning, full of life and full of action, and it's always so good to get back on the bike. Every morning I get on my bike, I'm just like, yeah, I love this. I feel like a little kid again, riding to school when I was in sixth grade or something, you know? That's where I got my haircut. Bueno, amigo, nos vemos, gracias. Buenos días. I'm really excited for Viñales. I've heard lots and lots of great things about this town. I didn't visit this place last time I was in Cuba. All my climber friends come here. It's supposed to be some beautiful limestone cliffs. It's also surrounded by tobacco country. I think this is where a lot of the famous Cuban cigars come from, the Pinar del Rio region. Dom seems to be doing okay. Luckily we have only a short distance to go. We're gonna make sure he's happy and healthy and we'll stop a lot if need be. Buenos dias amigo. What's happening Dom? Mm, just take a little rest. It's all my body can do to prevent myself from having to go to the bathroom every minute and a half, so it's taking a bit out of me. Dom, you picked a nice place to lay down. You can hear the birds, and it smells so fresh out here in these tobacco fields. I feel really bad for Dom. He is hurting big time. are slowly rolling into Viñales. I love these jagged cliffs that just come straight out of the earth. This is so cool. It looks like we're rolling into Jurassic Park or somewhere in Hawaii. It has a very volcanic, lost world look to it. Like we're gonna see some pterodactyls start flying around. side streets and see if there's anything. Ryan, con R. Así es.
tobacco cultivated here is used to make the famous Habanos. The tobacco here is quite different to the rest of a country. The, re the tobacco from the rest of a country is rather used to make, you know, cigarettes and cigars for local and national consumption, not to make the famous Habanos. Right. So this mm. region, Pinar del Rio, is considered the best tobacco land in the world. That's one of the smallest seeds that exists in the world. After 45 days in the seabeds, we get seedlings, then we put them in on the fields. And most of the farmers all turn, rotate tobacco with corn in the same field. About two months to dry, right? That's it. Do you want to try it with honey? Yeah. Yes. It's quite a good combination, tobacco and honey. Don't, don't inhale the smoke. Just puff, yeah. <laughs> I really like the honey at the end of this. Can we get some more honey on here? <laughs> What's the correct way to smoke a cigar? Yeah, no, for the good combustion of a cigar, you suck, you know, two, three times, one, two, three times, so to have a full combustion of a cigar. And then you separate it, and then you taste the aroma in the mouth. The honey is great on there. Wait. <laughs> so the first word for cohiba, for tobacco, sorry, was cohiba. So cohiba. that's the first word given to tobacco, right? So that's an Indian word. Mm -hmm. That's why the name of this cigar, there is an Indian head, you know, that's like the uh, the symbol. Why are Cuban cigars so famous around the world? Just because they're the best or is there something There are about five. It? There are about five, uh, let's, let's say, uh, five parameters. First, soil, quite typical. Climate, the type of tobacco, black tobacco. Farmer's experience and roller's experience. Mm. Dealing with this plant, making cigar for a lot of years, right? That's it. That's make this land the best tobacco land in the world. Right? This room smells so good. I wish this was like smell a vision right now because it just, it's got this like very natural, earthy, tobacco y smell. It's kind of a cozy smell. It's kind of like a warm blanket. Like I could go to sleep in here and it would just be like, ah. Well, look at me. Dom's alive! I'm here, back from the dead. Two bananas and about 13 orange sodas. Is a good cure, apparently. We're wandering in the fields behind the town of Vinales, admiring these beautiful mogotes. And this old farmer just started chatting us up. And he's like, you wanna come over for some coffee? Yeah, so we're going to his house. I don't really drink coffee, but I'm gonna give it a shot. Oh damn, that needs some sugar. Sugar makes everything better. I'm just not a coffee drinker. I never have been ever in my life. Wow. Well, I said you don't get to use this word much or these two together, but it's, there's no other description. It's tight and it's moist. The, your cheeks have to go in and out. All right, now you do it, just like she did it. Okay. It smells good. I like the smell of it. It reminds me of my dad. He used to smoke a pipe. Is it good for food poisoning? I uh, think uh, the coffee in this means that everything will either get really bad in the next couple of hours or disappear completely. Hey, Obama! This place was amazing. And it just happened because we were wandering around. Yeah. Sometimes when you wander in life, that's when the magic happens. It was, this was serious road magic. It was.